Hello and welcome. This is Soda from Mac to iPhone. In this video, we are going to see that how to install macOS Sequoia on unsupported Mac. To install macOS Sequoia on unsupported Mac, we are going to modify the systems. So before process anything, back up your system data and files. During the installation process, all data will be deleted from your Mac. So it is better to back up your data. Here you can see that I have the Mac 2015 model, which is not supported to macOS Sequoia. It is only supported up to macOS Monterey. So in this video, I am going to install macOS Sequoia on MacBook Air 2015 model. macOS Tau can be installed, but at this moment, I think macOS Sequoia is more stable. So I am going to do that. To install macOS Sequoia on MacBook Air, it is required MacBook Air 2020 or later version. But I have MacBook Air 2015 model. So official it is not possible, but we can do it using the OCLP, that means Open Code Legacy Patcher. So let's start. In this process, it required a storage device which will be 32 GB or more and a stable internet connection. Let's start with downloading OCLP. To download OCLP, click on the download links which is provided in the video description. Then scroll to opencodepatcher.pkg and click on it. Then allow to download. Now double click the pkg file to install. When prompted for your password, just enter it and continue the installation. Let's get started. First, we will create a bootable macOS Sequoia. To do that, we will need a 20GB or larger storage device. I use 16GB flash drive and I got this error. Luckily, I have 320GB external drive with no important data. If you have any partition on your external drive, it will automatically delete them. So please make sure there is nothing on it. Now click create macOS installer on open core legacy patcher window. Then download macOS installer. From here select macOS Sequoia and click on download. Click Yes to continue macOS installer. Now click Install macOS Sequoia. Then hit OK. Now select the external storage device. Now it is creating macOS installer file. It will take some time to continue. It depends on your internet speed. macOS installer successfully created now. From here you can select yes or you can click no and then build and install open code. Both are the same process. Then click install to disk. Now select external drive. Then reboot. Press and hold option key when you reboot. Then select EFI boot and continue. Install macOS Sukaya. Now select Dix utility from the recovery window. Here click view. So all drive. 
then apple ssd now click erase and then here make sure the format is apfs and scheme guid partition now close and click install macos sequoia then continue here select internal drive Now you can see the macOS Sequoia is installed successfully. In the same process you can also install the macOS Tahoe. Now from here create your user and then use your Mac. After macOS Sequoia or Tahoe is installed you will need to apply the root patches using the open code legacy patcher. These steps ensure that all your hardware component will work perfectly. Boot into your newly installed macOS Sequoia and then open the open code legacy patcher or maybe you will prompt it automatically click on ok when it prompted then click install to disk then select your internal ssd then reboot and continue You now have a macOS Sequoia on your unsupported Mac. If this helped you out, drop a like, hit subscribe and comment below if you run into any issues. I will be happy to help. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye.